Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for joining me today. So today we're going to be doing the bonus look. Normally I do three days, three looks when there's nine shades in a palette. But I'm really, really tempted to use the Cuddle Cloak shade out of the Disney Colourpop Frozen 2 Elsa eyeshadow palette. That's quite the mouthful, isn't it? It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. Beautiful outer carton. And then this is what it looks like on the packaging um, I just think they've done such an amazing job whoever's done this artwork is absolutely phenomenal um, so kudos to them and then this is what it looks like inside so this cuddle clothes shade I'm actually wearing as a highlight I've got the um, Laura Geller peach glow on underneath it but you can't really see that now because I went in really ham with this I just wanted to see what it would look like as a highlight yeah, I wanted to see what it would look like as a highlight. If it looked chunky, then I wasn't going to do this look. I was going to move on to do the collaboration that I do with the ladies every month. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow now. And then it will go up on the 1st, I think they said. So, yeah, we're going to be using some of these shades. Um, so, I'm going to use Fire again because I absolutely love that. I love Cuddle Close. Um... And then I'm going to be using one of these two shades to deepen it out, I think. I don't know if I'm going to go in with this flurry glitter. I really, really like it. But I want this cuddle close to be the star of the show. I just want to see what it looks like all over the lid. But before we get into that, yes, you've guessed it if you watch these videos regular. We're going to go in with the, I've just dropped the plastic, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Um, just to put the white chocolate shade all over my lid let's find the brush and then we can get into the main look so i'll just use this because i'm using the nyx white base and it just sets it really nicely you could also just use translucent powder but i'm a bit extra and i want to use this shade up okay so that one's done um where's my color switch oh it's there hiding so i'm just running the real techniques 305 brush through the color switch it's this one here that i'm always using and then we're gonna go in with fire I've really been enjoying using it, but the looks that I've created the last couple of days were a little bit cray cray. Um, I enjoyed I enjoyed the first look the most. This one could be the best look yet, just because of that um, cuddle close shade. I really, really do like the look of it, but it does feel like it's going to be very powdery and chunky on the eyes. But we'll see. I could be wrong. So, yeah, let's zoom in and let's put fire in the crease i really do like the shade i'm gonna take it quite high up because of my hooded lips you never actually see eyeshadow if i don't And just put it in the outer V. We'll deepen that out in a second. Then go back into fire and do the left eye. My left eye is running like a tap. very watery here and I think sometimes that's why it gets so patchy because obviously if your eyes watery it's not gonna stick I might just jump off camera for a little bit and let that dry down right it's still watering but let's try it I think I'm gonna go in with awakened again I used this one yesterday but yeah I think we'll use the lighter version of 
the shade this one is more of a sequin shade it's got a bit of glitter in but it does look really nice I'm just going to deepen it out I might put the other one over the top as well deepen it out a little bit more because it's not although it is deepened out no we'll just leave it at this this isn't going to go on as smoothly I can feel it darn watery eyes it's hay fever season isn't it can you see how much the water in um, and then I'm going to go in with this beautiful cuddle close shade here I just don't know what I will use for my inner corner highlight then look at that that is absolutely pretty yeah, it's like a white with pink reflect I wonder if this one will deepen a little bit with um, setting spray. It does feel more powdery than the rest of the shimmers. It doesn't feel like it's the same texture. Let's try and spritz it. I'll use this BH Cosmetics brush. Um, one nine three. Surprisingly, it's still got the number on it. And we're going to use the Primark Glow Intensity Spray. It looks pretty pigmented on the brush. Let's just tap it on first. Right, so I would say it's a little bit more pigmented compared to the left eye, but not overly pigmented. You can tell a little bit of a difference, so it is worth doing. Whereas when I did this with the other shades, you just couldn't tell, but I didn't use this particular brush, so it might be worth me doing that next time. This one. Next time Pretty Random tells me to use this one. Right, so for the actual um, inner corner highlight, I think I'm going to have to use the Too Faced Champagne Truffle. I'd show you, but I don't want to show you the progress I've made on the palette, so I hope you don't mind. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go in with that. If you've got this palette, you'll know what it looks like. It's just a pink inner corner highlight. Um, I think it'll go nice. You'll see it in a minute anyway. So that's what it looks like it's very similar to the shade on the eye um so yeah we're using that shade okay right um then i'm gonna go in i'm gonna go in with a shade first this awaken shade and then if I feel it's too dark, I go in with fire, that neutral that neutral brown. I've just put the tiniest amount on the brush. And so now I'm smudging it out because I don't like it too, too dark. Mm, I don't know if that's too dark. And then it's meeting this out of a I think for me it is a little bit too dark let's go in with fire so that neutral brown I used in the crease 
combine it a little bit. Okay. Um. Little tight line today. Just need to use this up and I want to use it a little bit more before I do my project pan update because this is in my 21 in 2021. <laughs> really don't have a lot left so I want to use it as quickly as possible. Um, mascara. So we're going to be using my favourite Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Can you hear the pigeons outside? They sound like they're living the best life. I'm going to tap a little bit more on, press it in. over that mascara that just went on the eyelid. I could pan this eyeshadow from this palette without a shadow of a doubt. I really like these duochrome eyeshadows that I've got a, a pink reflect. So what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to put a lipstick on and then we're going to talk about this. I'll give you a quick review on it, give you my thoughts and opinions and let you know if it's worth the money in my opinion. Um, but yeah, we're just going to grab a lipstick first. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one. It's from Primark and it's the Pure Gloss Lipstick and it's in the shade Wisdom. I have a feeling I'm going to have to declutter this. I mean, you can't hear it like when I do that, but when I open it, you still can't hear it but it comes out saying that though it comes out in a little thing um i don't think i would need to declutter it it's not like it you know is gonna make a mess i mean would that just fit no um so it needs to be in both of these like little cap things um but yeah i don't know what's wrong with it i don't know why it just keeps coming out only happened recently but if I don't like the shade on me I'm just going to declutter it there's another lipstick I'm decluttering anyway so yeah we'll do that I'm just wiping my Glossier lip balm off that I've got um so yeah let's try this let's take it out of there it's a really nice neutral shade I don't know guys, I think I might end up decluttering it. I just can't be bothered with the hassle of having to like, just keep getting it out like that. Um, and it was only like a pound, two pound. So yeah, I might declutter that lipstick. I mean, oh my teeth. It's really, really pretty. Um, and it looks nice with this look. I'm just tapping the eyeshadow to make it look a bit nicer. And so we've got an even blend. Um, I really, really do like the way the look came out. I think this one and day one are my two favourite looks. The other looks that I created, I really didn't like that much. Um, but that, but that's probably just because I was going row by row in the palette. I could have gone different ways with the palette. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just really, really pretty. I mean, next time I use a Colourpop palette, I might go, like, downwards instead of across. So I've got a Baby Got Peach one. I might do that for that, depending on what the shades look like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some swatches. No, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to do it on the back of my hand. Let me take my watch off. This watch, by the way, guys, a lot of you have commented on it. And um, it's just really, really good. It, I'm not going to get 
a Apple Watch. I think they're too expensive. I wouldn't say they're overrated because they are really, really good. I've had one in the past, but they do cost quite a lot of money. And, and I got that one for £40 and it does everything that an Apple Watch does. So yeah, I don't feel like I need it. Um, right, so let's go into the shades and talk a little bit more about this palette. So Cuddle Close, which is all of my eyelids. I might have to go in with that a couple of times. That's that one there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, just about. Um, then we've got Fire, which is this one here. Really smooth and matte. I mean, look how nice that blends out. Gorgeous. Then we've got Northern Lights, which I wasn't too impressed with. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful colour, but the formula, it just, I mean, you can see it there. It's just not that pigmented. But if you want an everyday natural eye look, I think it's really, really nice for that. Those two shades together will look pretty. I mean, I deepened it out with spinning spin drift when i used it i think if i didn't do that i could have got an everyday neutral eyeshadow look which would have looked amazing um and then we've got gala this one's the same so gala and northern lights are the same formula and then the ice light shade down here is completely different and that one's more like a super shock eyeshadow so i'll just show you what this one looks like can you see how they're just not that pigmented? They're just not cutting it. Um, and normally when you do swatches, they, they do come out a little bit better. And then we've got Flurry. I really do like this glitter. It's so, so pretty. I mean, look at that. Don't know where to put it here, maybe. It's just here. Look at that shine there. It's absolutely stunning. Right, and then we've got winter which is this really nice blue um again it's another smooth one that didn't go on too well i mean i guess when you blend it out it, it is true to how it went onto my eyes um but like look how blue it is on the hand it's like a periwinkle blue um maybe i just need to use a different brush next time i need to get these shades off Okay. and then the last row um, I'm not keen on these two to be honest we've got Awakened Awakened I like better than I like the other one but they're not kind of shades that I would normally wear um, so that's Awakened there and then we've got this gorgeous silver here um, which is Ice Lights no Ice Crystals I mean look at that that is like true to what a Colourpop formula would normally apply like, whereas the other two shimmers aren't. And then we've got Spindrift, which is this one. This one is probably the worst eyeshadow on the palette for me. I just don't like it. Um, I mean, look how dark it is. Anyone that knows me knows that it's too dark for me. Um, but I did try it for the sake of the video. I mean, I had to try it. Um, they had to basically the one look that I did look such a mess um, I had to do that look three times um, just to get the look that I wanted out of it and I wasn't happy with that look I think that was day three or day two I can't ex no it was day three definitely because it's not on the channel yet um, that's it there I mean look at the colour comparison difference so that's um, I can't even remember the names Awakened and then that spin drift it's so much darker and i think that's why i like this one more i don't think i'll use that not even as an eyeliner um but this one i think i'll get some use out of so that's all the swatches not the best swatches in the world so what do i think of the palette so right on first impressions i think it's a gorgeous palette i mean that's the outer packaging as i showed you earlier that looks absolutely stunning and then they've made it even more stunning by putting elsa on the front um which is absolutely gorgeous 
the thing is with cardboard packaging it's gonna get dirty i'm gonna i'm gonna try and keep it in the outer carton but every time i use it it's just gonna get more and more dirty i mean i've already made a little mark there from when i used the red tones um and inside i'm not too bothered about inside getting dirty but the outer packaging i would like to be kept as clean as possible um because it's going to be a display piece um it's going to go back into the unit where i display my ColourPop items and i wouldn't really want it out when it looks dirty and that's why i'm keeping the outer packaging i feel like it's great value for money so i paid i think about 17 pounds for this palette um but i did get it from a uk seller what i don't like about it is the shimmers they're not as pigmented as i would like i like a foiled eyeshadow and this one northern lights isn't foiled um this one gala isn't foiled this one ice crystals i wish they'd made them all like that um because that is just absolutely beautiful i wouldn't say cuddle close is foiled either but i like the fact that it's a duo chrome i mean northern lights has that effect as well that it's a duo chrome but it's just not pigmented enough i mean i put so much of this on when i did that look and i still wasn't 100 percent happy with it i mean it was okay um but that's already how many shades out of this palette am i not 100 percent happy with northern lights gala um spindrift so that's free i'm not too sure about this one winter I need to test it a little bit more um cuddle closer do you like so it's already three shades out of this palette that i'm not 100 percent happy with so that's like a quarter of the palette um but yeah i do really like it and if you like this color story as well you might like it um i don't know if i've had a bad formula i mean sometimes you can get bad formulas if you've got this palette let me know how yours perform i would really really like to know um like i said it could be just a bad formula but i will keep it around the collection i mean how could i not with elsa looking as cute as she does so guys this concludes the video this is the overall look thank you so so much for watching today i really do appreciate your time and support on the channel it means the absolute world to me if you're not already subscribed i would love for you to hit that subscribe button and become part of our crazy little fam please like it really does help out the channel share and comment and i will see you in my next one bye guys